hi guys welcome to my channel for those who are new welcome watch other videos and remember to subscribe for my returning subscribers thank you so much for watching my content so today i'm going to prepare this recipe a kfc style as you can see it is a kinyeji uh chicken so i'm going to cut it first and then i boil it after boiling that's when i'm going to do a marination i'm going to use the spices that i like i'm going to to show you them after my chicken has a boil i'm boiling my chicken as you can see of course if it is a kinyeji you have to boil for it to be a bit soft and then i am making my potato wedges so i'm going to remove the the skin of the mm -hmm. pieces of the chicken so that the marination can penetrate eh, properly onto my chicken if you want to make this recipe uh, you can boil, that is if you are using kenyeji chicken, you can boil an, a, a day before and then you do marination, just put it in fridge overnight and then you prepare it the following day. But because of time, I'm just going to remove it or I'm just going to drain it and then I let it dry and then I remove the skin, I do the marination and then I start coating chicken remember guys i'm going to do um kfc style uh, that's my own recipe i'm going to just uh so i'm going just to do some moderation for my chicken it will be and it will be kfc style my own recipe so i'm going to drain it here yeah? and then the liquid inside here yeah? I'll use it to make a sauce and maybe I can use it to prepare some rice in the evening. By the way, cooking it a nut, you can develop um, your own recipe. So I'm going to use this to drain it. I will let it cool and then remove the skin. I repeat onto my prepared marination. Mm, I've tried to remove the skin. There is one that I've tried. Eh? And then I'm doing away with the with the meat. Then guys, there's something I've just remembered to tell you. Whenever you are boiling your meat, eh? any type of meat, eh? you can use some herbs. So that you can have so that you can improve the the flavor and even the taste of your chicken or your meat you can use either rosemary bay leaves celery leeks any herb any herb of your choice So onto my bowl, I'm going to mix um, spices. I'm going to add garlic, ginger. I'm going to leave all the spices that I've used at the description box. So that if you want to try out my recipe, then you can get um, uh, information from there. So I'm going to add um, crushed garlic, ginger. Yeah, I'll add soy sauce, kidogo, and then lemon juice, fresh. And then for coating, I'm going to use the uh, egg white only. So I'm going to add my egg white onto my bowl. I've just separated the yolk and the egg white. You can see the egg white is inside my bowl. Then I'm going to mix. Mm. 
instead of mixed the liquid it's more of the reddish because i've used much of the paprika and cayenne eh? you know it is reddish in color so guys if you don't take eggs you can use uh milk or even water by the way can we use wine i think you can i'll try i'll try one day but i know it can work out you can eat really anyway so if you don't take eggs you can use milk or water then the uh, you can also use just the egg white and yolk both of them but i prefer the egg white so guys i send cooking it's a nut i i'm using holds the holds it's a cereal instead of bread crumbs uh so as you can see it is a all so i'm going to crush it so that it can be a bit smaller and then this is what i'm going to coat my chicken uh, with you know um um the benefits of holds is that it contains all the bran and it is a good source of fiber yeah it contains uh, some minerals and even the the vitamin so that's why i've decided to use oats but you can use breadcrumbs there's a uh, you can also use um uh witabix but i've never tried witabix eh? but i know it can it can yeah if you crush it eh? you have to crush it so let me prepare these and then I'll show you the next step. Before coating, dust your meat with uh, flour. You can either use corn flour or wheat flour, but corn flour the best. Eh? But even the wheat flour, it's okay. Now this is our old. Mm -hmm should not be um, so soft remember even the bread crumbs are not so soft so now coating you start from here you dip inside here and then here if it is not well coated you return it here and then here and then onto the deep frying oil Sometimes the reason as why we put um, our food whenever we are deep frying to to have variety in the menu to improve the flavor, the taste, to ensure that the food does not disintegrate whenever you are deep frying, and to prevent the food from absorbing excess of the oil. So those are some of the reasons as why we we coat our food whenever we are deep frying So once you coat, you shake so that you can remove excess coating. Now as you can see, they are ready now to be deep fried. I've coated all of them. I'm using the same same cooking oil that I've used to make some potato wedges. So I'm going to deep fry with it the chicken. That's it. Hope you have enjoyed the video. I've served it to the potato edges. Bye bye till next video. See how it is inside of. Oh.